Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JC Barrow Labs. For more information and to download the source code and GUI file uh, for this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. Uh, hi, in this video, we'll talk about uh, how to display graphs and how to display different kind of graphs, several graphs on MATLAB GUI. So let's open or oh, let's create a new GUI and first of all let's open it and prior to it let's change the browsing folder to desktop so that our, all the files will be saved here just type guide GUIDE in order to open graphical user uh, and development environment so select your blank GUI here and then OK so this kind of blank GUI will open up so here because uh, in our previous video earlier videos we have uh, learned about like how to use buttons and how to use pop-up menus so first of all in order to display graphs uh, we need to select this axis and uh, you can uh, define the required size of that axis uh, depending on the your GUI design so when you select it as uh, or when you save it let's say test graph uh, a new file or uh, uh, editor file opens up in which you can write the corresponding code uh, which needs to be run when you are doing certain action on the GUI so what we want first uh, so we'll do several experiments uh, one by one so first we'll what we'll do whenever we run it uh, graph should display it so first step is so when uh, we run the first function which uh, runs is the op uh, gui opening function so whatever uh, we write here that particular uh, code will be run and corresponding action will be taken care of so as soon as we run uh, we want uh, some sinusoid wave should be displayed on the graph so here we can define uh, the time period for our sinusoidal wave and then we are taking the sampling frequency of 100 hertz so let's define x equals to sine 2 pi we are taking 5 hertz of sine wave into n and then simple type plot and comma x so you can also type here like title uh, sine wave so let's see so as soon as we are running it uh, sine wave is being displayed so this is fine like this is a GUI and we are able to display the sine wave now uh, our requirement could be like uh, we have suppose several buttons here and depending on the kind of button a uh, different graph should be displayed here so let's have two different button mm, let's say we have one button here or, or a push button and this particular button uh, let's say we say a uh, random random so whenever someone press this button a corresponding random signal is displayed on the graph so we need to provide the tag of that pattern so that corresponding callback should be called so let's say we also uh, make it random and let's uh, change the size uh, of the text being displayed on this button here enter okay that's fine well, let's save it and uh, let's say we have one more button uh, which is uh, displayed the multi-tone signal multi-tone means uh, uh, sine wave with uh, having uh, more than one frequency at a time so let's say we have multi-tone and again its tag should be so that uh, it is general practice to put the tag uh, 
uh, having the same name as root of the ifs string so that we can recognize it clearly whenever we are debugging the code. So again change the font size etc. Okay. So what we are going to do as soon as someone press uh, someone runs this uh, GUI uh, sine wave will be displayed and when someone press random button a uh, random signal is will be displayed here and if uh, someone press multi-tone signal so multi-tone signal will be displayed here so let's write the code corresponding to it so let's see its callback so as soon as someone press this random button uh, present on the GUI this particular callback is called and whatever code is written here between uh, these function lines that particular code will be executed so let's have uh, so say we have suppose 1000 numbers of uh, random but uh, random numbers so we generate x equals to our md 1 comma 2000 and simply plot x and we say also change the title like random numbers and now let's go to the multi-tone signal so in multi-tone signal uh, we will generate uh, uh, a signal which will be having more than one uh, frequency components and then we'll display it on the graph so first define our time axis so again 0 0.012 of uh, 2 second duration and then we have x equals to sine 2 pi into our frequencies of 4 hertz into n and we have uh, another frequency of let's say one hertz and then plot n comma x and then its title should be uh, multi tone signal so let's see uh, how the graph looks like uh, okay so let's save this one and let's run it as soon as we are running it's sine wave or random numbers and then okay, it's our multi-tone signal we again press random number multi-tone so but uh, it seems like uh, our program is working so now we want to like that particular sine wave which we have generated at the starting uh, to display it again so what we need to do we need to uh, either uh, we can say yeah, uh, we need to put uh, uh, one more button uh, which should be doing exactly the same code of that the sine wave. So I hope you understand uh, like uh, how to display different kind of graphs or using different buttons on a single GUI and I hope you like the video. So that's it for this video. Thank you.